I really like to tell this story to people because I think it kind of motivates them to to keep their training, you know. Um, when I first started in Jiu-Jitsu, I was a teenager. I was kind of old to start, you know, for the new generation of competitors, but I was getting bullied at school and my mother, you know, she always felt bad that I would come home hurt and she put me in jiu-jitsu to learn how to defend myself. I started doing jiu-jitsu and I really didn't like to train because every day it was like I was being abused again. You know, every day I would just go there and get beat up. I wasn't a good student because I didn't want to be there. My mother told me, we're taking you out. I thought about it and I told my mother, you know, I don't want to leave. I want to try it again. When I first started wanting to train, of course, I started getting better, you know, because when you want something, you look to improve. And I started getting better and better and I started wanting to compete. And my goals into competition was just to beat up people. And this was very wrong, you know, I couldn't just improve by beating people up. I have this message because I know that a lot of people quit through uh, their blue belt, you know. It's not how good your jiu-jitsu is, but how good jiu-jitsu is for you. And a lot of the times, people can't see that. They get so worried about getting better in jiu-jitsu that they don't, they don't become the person that they should be. And they're not, never gonna evolve as a martial artist. The biggest lesson in my whole life was from my instructor. When I was a brown belt and I was able to win, to win the World Cup, which back then was the biggest tournament for me, I didn't get promoted. And I was so mad because I thought that I could be a black belt and I thought I could compete at that level. And a couple of months passed and my jiu-jitsu was just not there anymore. I didn't want to compete. I didn't want to train. And my instructor said, okay, that, now that you're not training, why not prove yourself? Go one weight higher against the world champion and test yourself. And I'm like, I'm not training, why should I do that? And he said, because you need to test yourself, go ahead and do it. So he registered myself and he made me do it. My instructor brought everyone up into that tournament because he was very confident that, was, that I was going to lose. And he wanted everyone to see that I could lose too. At the podium, he says, you see, you don't train jiu-jitsu, you can even tie your belt. And I said, my belt is tied correctly. Uh, what is it wrong with my belt? I'm sorry. So he said, you have to posture up and I'm gonna do the knot. But at the gym, I'll explain to you how. So he does the knot and he said, okay, now you can look down again. When I looked down, there was a black belt on my waist. And I was in the second place and I really didn't want to get a black belt when I lost, you know, because I won everything. And when I finally lost, it was when he promoted me. And I asked him, why would you promote me when I lost? You know, I had all these happy days and you dismotivated me to, to, to train to then promote me when I lost. And he said, Caio, I never trained you to be a champion. You were a champion because you dedicated yourself to it. I trained you to change people's lives like, like Jiu Jitsu changed yours. I am promoting you to black belt because your Jiu Jitsu uh, has helped so many people at the gym. It's time for you to change people too. And if I promoted you in one of the days, that you won, you would just think that you're getting promoted because you're a champion. And I wanted you to see that I'm promoting you because it's time now for you to be a teacher. If you're going to be a champion one day, great. But you have to pass the right message to others.
At first I thought jiu-jitsu was just about defending myself. Then I realized jiu-jitsu is so much more. It's not the medals, the tournaments you can win. Jiu-jitsu has not just made me a better person, but a better friend, a better father. And I know that Jiu-Jitsu can do the same for you.